Right. Let's jump into this workout. It's Wednesday. That means we're doing hit, which means I have to set up my stopwatch on my computer. Oh man. Alrighty. Um, you don't need any equipment for this workout. Just 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I will say the last exercise we're gonna be going by reps but it shouldn't really affect too much. Just wanted to keep it even and you have to like change over halfway, a little bit confusing. So I just thought we'll do it by reps and then we still have our minute break in between, in between rounds. So with this workout, I'm gonna start explaining it. It is 5.30, so I'll just jump right in. Um, okay. All right, perfect. Audio, okay, good. All right, so first thing we'll be doing, we've done this before, ah, oh, not perfect. Man, how do like people do this for a living do it? They have, they have a setup. Anyway, okay, so first thing we're doing, we've done this before, but we're gonna break it down again because it was a little bit more of a complicated movement. It was the shuffle squat with the reach, okay? So with this, your cues that you wanna focus on are that a lot of the bending over has to come with a flat back and you really do just want to stick out your butt and drop the chest to reach over you, you reach over all the way touch the foot the other cue you want to think about is like there's a line in the middle again when you're in your 45 degree squat position you're just replacing that middle leg you replace reach out to the side replace reach out to the side replace reach out to the side and hold or hands go down jump the feet out jump the feet in okay whatever you want if you're not good at jumping, you can just down and down. If you're doing this and you're not jumping, really focus on keeping those knees nice and wide. And when you go down, you're using your butt. You are gonna, you're gonna feel it in the hips if you lack flexibility, but you really do just wanna drop that butt and keep your back flat, reach to that toe, come up a little bit, reach to that other toe, reach and hold, okay? After that, so 40 seconds of that, 20 seconds off. Those are gonna be tough, but you'll make it, I promise. After that, we're gonna be doing up, up, down, down with this side plank, sorry, side touch in the middle. So we're gonna be starting in our low plank. You guys know how up, up, down, down work. One of my favorite things, we've done them hundreds of times, but if not, basically plant the hand, come up, down. Then we're going to add a tap out to the side, Elbow down, tap out to the side. Then now this hand comes up, up, down, down, tap out, tap out, up, up, down, down, tap out, tap out. Okay, basically you want to make sure it doesn't matter what hand taps out first, whatever way works for you so that you can remember that you put the opposite hand down onto the ground and then go down. Okay, you want to make sure every time you go up, most important thing, every time you go up, you plant the opposite hand each time. Out, out, and then you plant the other hand. Up, up, down, down, out, out, okay? When you're reaching out to the side, shift all of your weight onto the other elbow. Keep your back flat and just straighten the arm out to the side. This is just to give us a small break, but also help us work on our balance and just control of our bodies. After that, we're gonna flip over onto our back. A classic, classic leg lift situation. Day does not go by that I don't do a leg lift. I wake up and instead of sitting up out of my bed like this in the morning, I lift my legs through non hitting. Okay, so with this, you're like this. Here's the um, unmodified version. Straight legs, lower back in the ground, up um, and reach back down. Up, reach back down. My hands are kind of just coming on my legs, reaching for the toes down. When you do this, you want to make sure that your legs don't kind of shake any which way. If you can't do it with straight legs, you're gonna be going like this. So you're going out and crunch, down, out and crunch, down. You can either crunch or if you're an overachiever, come all the way up and down, okay? You guys got that. After that, we're gonna be up on four feet, burning out these legs. So this is something if you want to, if you need to, grab onto something for stability. We are basically gonna be doing squat kickbacks. There's a lot of legs, a lot of glutes in this workout. Haven't done that in a while, so we thought, why not? So with this, basically what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be alternating. You never come higher than a 45 degree in the knee, and you're just gonna be alternating back and forth. If you need to hold on to something, so basically what it is, 
you're gonna squat, and then you're going to lift a leg behind you. Notice how this is still 45. A key thing you wanna make sure when you are doing this is that your chest stays bent over and your back is flat. If you're lifting your leg up like this and your lower back is arching, stop. Stop what you're doing, bend over, flat back, the lift comes from the glute. After you lift that, you go back down into your squat, lift the other one. So I'm here, I'm holding on to this for balance. If you don't need the balance, that's great for you. Hands up here, hands in front, whatever works for you. Squat, kick, squat, kick. You can even tell from there, my chest does not change. It stays like this the whole time, okay? Nice and slow. Anyway, 40 seconds of that. After that, we're back down into our high plank position. You're gonna be doing plank walk jump ins. If you don't wanna do the jump in, you can jump your feet out to the side and then together. What it's gonna look like, all of us are gonna be doing this part, high plank position. We're going to step out, both hands and feet, step together, step out, together. Following me, you're gonna jump the feet in, out, in, out. If you can't do that, you wanna challenge yourself, just do one jump in. It might take you more time, that's fine. You'll still be in time with me if you aren't not the end of the world. Or if you're uncomfortable with that, just like this, jump out together, out together. Okay, notice how I always hit that nice plank position. I never let my hips drop like that. After that, we're gonna turn on over. This is a new exercise we haven't done before. This will be a 20 second on each side one, but we're following the time for this. So basically what you're gonna be doing, kind of like a um, bridge position, I can go quicker with this explanation, oh my gosh. Bridge position, but feet are farther away from your body than normal. If you're following me, basically you're gonna be putting all your weight in one leg, other leg is up. When your hips come up, the knee comes in, and then back down. My butt might look like it's touching the floor, but it's not, just like this, okay? Then at 20 seconds, I say switch, and you do the other side. If this is too challenging for you, hips up, and just go like this. Again, do one leg at a time, you don't have to drop the hips down in between. Last thing we'll be doing onto our side, side plank position with the knees bent behind us. I would definitely, I'm doing it with my knees bent behind. This is a hard one. When you're doing this, again, from the side, I look like this, not like this, not like this, nice and flat, okay? Squeeze the glutes, flat hips, knees bent at a 90 behind me. When I press up with my hips, my leg comes up. When I go down, it comes together. We're gonna to be doing 15 on each side. You wanna make it more challenging? Straight top leg. Up, down, up, down. You are using your obliques, your shoulder, your glute, and your other glute, all right? That one's a toughie, you'll see, but it's fun. It's great. You don't expect it. it just comes out from behind you, and it's like, well, bam. It's getting hard. Okay, that's a whole workout. Again, I'll be explaining it as we go. Don't worry this is gonna be great. So we're starting with the shuffle, 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 hold, or shuffle, shuffle, down, out, in. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So we're gonna reach, 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 out, in, or reach, 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 and hold. Halfway, reach, keep it up, Woo, five seconds, and done. Okay, onto your mat, up, up, down, down, reach that hand out to the side between every one. 10 seconds, again, starting in that low plank. Follow along. Five, four, three, two, one. So we're gonna go up, up, down, down, side, and side. Other arm, up, up, down, down, side, and side. Keep that butt down. Side, other arm. Halfway. Inside, keep squeezing. Ten seconds, tap, 
and top. Up, up, down, down, top, and top. Last one. Up, up, down, down, top, and top. Come down. Hopefully you got that. It goes a little bit quick. Roll around your back, leg lifts with the toe taps. If you were either doing straight leg and up or bent leg, and in three, two, one. So we're gonna go in, up, and down. Feet never touch the ground, and down. Or if your knee like this, go as low as you can. If you need to, keep your knees bent or fully extend them. And move back. Ooh. Up, top, and down. Just focus on controlling the movement. So I know reaching up to your toes, hard to control. It's a hard movement. You want to use momentum, but just try to activate those abs in isolation. Don't move anything else. Two, one, and done. Fantastic job. See, it goes, goes by fast. Quickly up onto your feet, squat kickbacks. I recommend if it's your first time doing these, go and just have something to kind of hold on to, okay? Again, squat 45 kick, squat 45 kick. If your back is arching, stop and try again. Three, two, one. So we're gonna squat there, just like that. I'm staying bent over. I drop into a squat in between, and I use my glutes to lift that back leg. All right? To get confident, you know you can let go. But it's still there for safety. As long as your back is flat, you're doing great. Keep it up. 10 seconds left. Going more for a normal squat. Keep our knees in line. Three, two, one, and done. Great job. Onto the ground. Three more exercises left. Plank, walk, jump feet in, jump feet out. Or jump feet out to the side and back in. High plank position. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. So we're walking the feet and the hands together at the same time. In, in. Hands together, together or out and in. In, in. Keep it up. If you need to, slow it down. Make sure you coordinate how far your hands and your feet reach. Use your yoga mat side as a reference. Keep it in a straight line. Three, two, one, and done. Okay. Turn over onto your back. We have the crab crunches again. Feet a little bit farther away from the body. Weight in the heels, we alternate it 20 seconds. Just like this. Three, two, one, let's go. Down, two, or you're going like this. You should feel it in the support like hamstring and glutes. Two, one, and switch. So I just planted that foot that was in the air, and I'm lifting the other one. Notice how it's just my heel in contact. I'm focusing my weight in the heel. Three, two, one, and done. Fantastic, okay. Onto your side, 15 on each. Side plank position, bend the knees. When we go up, we open. I'm gonna go down, we close. Straight leg optional makes it harder. I'm gonna be doing that. Three, two, one. So we got 15. I'm gonna count one, down, two, three. Make sure your hips are flat. Eleven. 13, 14, 15, good, and switch. Other way, side plank position. 
flat hips, knee bent behind you, both, or just one, three, two, one, let's go up, down. Again, you're using your obliques and your shoulders still for this. Three more. 14, 50, Whew, okay. First round done. Grab a drink, take a break. That one, you know, it's nice to end on. It's burning, but I'm not out of breath, which is nice. I can drink my water without choking. It's always the worst, you know? You're exhausted, you can't even drink water. All right. <sighs> Get a minute. A minute, now we're starting again. Whew. This is definitely a leg heavy one. Hopefully you guys have still been working out your legs. We haven't done one in a while just because people wanted to focus on upper body. But I thought might as well bring it back a little bit for this hit one. Okay, we got 10 seconds left. And we are going to start again. Squat, shuffle with the burpees. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember you switch and reach, 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 and hold or reach, reach, down, out, in. Make sure your back stays flat. Almost done. Five seconds. Two and one. Whew, okay. Over onto your mat. Up, up, down, down. Reach out to the side. I'm do it from the side this time. Remember, alternate what arm pushes up first. Five, four, starting in low plank. Three, two, one. Let's go up, up. Down, down, up, and up. Other side. Down, down, up, and up, up, up. Five seconds. Out, out, and done. Whew. Flip over. Leg lift, toe tap. Again, try to keep the legs straight. If not, bent. And then still crunch in. You guys got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. In, tap. And down. Again, if you forget, it's tap, just like this, with the bent knees. Or if your lower back's coming off the ground, go as low as you can with bent knees. Keep it going, 10 seconds left. I know these are tough. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, back up onto your feet. If you need to go over to a support sturdy location, if not, freehand this. Squat, kickbacks. Number one thing, you already know it. Flat back, stay bent over the whole time. Three, two, one, let's go. So we're gonna squat and kick. Squat, look at my angle of my upper body to the floor. Does not move. When I kick back, I make a straight line with my leg. There should be no arching of the lower back. Squeeze the glutes. 
Again, more of a normal squat with this. Toes not too far, facing out just a little bit. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, back into your plank position. We got plank walks, jump in, jump up, or jump the feet out and together. You already know the deal. Again, coordinate the length of movement between your hands and your feet. Slow down if you have to. Three, two, one, let's go. Out, together, out, together, in, in. Out, together, together. If you can't do either, you can just hold it. And two, walk, walk, or out, out. Or you can't even jump, tap. Tap, so many things you can do. Two, and one. Whew. Okay, onto your back, crab crunches. Again, just like a bridge, but feet farther away from the body than usual. Weight in the heels. Flex those feet, move them out. Feel it in your hammies and your glutes. Three, two, one, let's go. Again, one leg the whole time. Butt and foot stay off the floor. Keep the knee in line, don't let it turn out, don't let it turn in. Three, two, one, down switch. Three, two, one, and done. Last thing, onto your side, side plank position. Flat hips, knees bent at a 90 behind you. And you go up, open, down, close. This one, you can tap, don't rest, you can tap. Straight leg makes it harder. Three, two, one, let's go. Now 15 on each side, that's one, two, three, four. Again, make sure that shoulder doesn't travel in too far this way. Um, move the elbow in closer if that's happening. Ten, five more. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Roll over. Side plank. Same thing. Flat hips, bent knees. Three, two, one. Let's go. That's 10, five more. Fourteen, fifteen. Whew. I don't know what's up with that side. That's just harder for me. Okay. Grab a drink, take a break. You've just completed half the workout. Look at that. No time whatsoever. That's what I love about hit. It just flies right by. If you want to challenge yourselves with those last ones, again, it is your workout, up to you what you do. You can do like five with a straight leg, 10 with a knee bent, as long as you keep it even. But please feel free, modify any of this to whatever level you are. That's why I give you all the variations so that you can maximize it to whatever your capabilities are. Okay, we're up on our feet. We're starting again in five, or remember shuffle squat reach two and one so we switch reach two down out in or we're gonna hold one two down and hold even if you can't do that you reach you reach down and hold just hit the positions Ten 
seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay. Onto your mat. Up, up, down, down. Reach out to the side, to the side. Start your low plank again. Alternate. One hand goes first and replace. When you go up, you're replacing where that elbow was. Okay? Not in front. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Plant up, down, down. Reach out to the side. Inside. Other side. Up, down, down. Reach, reach. Up, up, down, down. Reach, reach. Keep that nice plank position. Belly button tucked in. Flat back. Three, two, and one. One more time. Up, up, down, down, done. Roll over onto your back. Leg lifts with the toe tap. I'm doing my math this time. Hopefully it's not a weird angle. I don't know. Won't do well. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Never mind. Remember, straight leg or bent. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Up, reach, and down. When you're reaching, your legs don't move. Just your upper body. Do your best. If you're straightening your legs, you're actively straightening them. Okay, you're using your quads to the best that you can. Three, two, one, and done. All right, roll up onto your feet. We have these squat kickbacks. Again, if you want, hold on to something. I'm gonna try this one freestanding. Feeling confident in my abilities, we'll see. See how it goes. Again, squat up, squat up, keep the back flat. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat up. Use the glutes to lift that leg. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Okay. Back down onto the mat, plank walks, jump in, jump out. All right, coordinate the movement between the top half and the bottom half. Nice tight core, flat back. Three, two, one. Let's go out, in, out, in, in, in. Together, together. Keep it up. Two and one. Done. Roll over onto your back. Woo. Crab crunches again. Heels away from the body. Makes it harder. One leg at a time. 20 seconds each. When you go up, the knee comes in. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up, down. Fast on the way up, slow on the way down. Good rule for most things. Three, two, one, and we're gonna switch. Just 
Keep it up. Three, two, one, and done. Onto your side. Last thing. Again, side plank position. Bend the knees behind you. Flat hips. Three. Oh, you know, we still got time. Sorry. I'm jumping the gun. I'm too excited. Hand on your head or on your side or up to the side. Whatever you want. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up. Down. We got 15. Nine, ten, five more. Whatever you want. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh man! All right, other side. We do it this way. Flat hips, knee bent behind you. Elbow in. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up. Two. Five more. Fourteen. Fifteen. Done. Grab a drink, take a break. We got one round left. Hopefully, the workout's making sense. You're having fun. Your glutes, I bet you, I bet you money. I bet you legitimate money. No, I'm kidding. I don't know how that I know how that could work, but your legs are gonna be sore tomorrow. Your side glutes, they're gonna be sore tomorrow. Fun thing about these exercises, you know, they're simple, but people just don't do them. You know, because why would you? They seem so simple, but so they get you. When you do them, they get you. Anyway, but hey, if I'm wrong, I, I owe you money again. No, I'm kidding. But free session on me. I don't know what time it would go for. We, we don't know. Forget I said anything. But seriously, let me know if your glutes are dead tomorrow. If not, I haven't done my job right. I'm going to try harder next time. Okay. Enough chatting. We are starting the fourth and final round. Get ready to go. Shake it out one last time. We are starting with shuffle, reach. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we're gonna reach two, down, out, in, or we're holding. Two, down, hand, hold. I do the arms to kind of signify where I am in this thing. I'm gonna make these movements distinct from one another. Make it sharp. I know you're tired. Don't let it get sloppy. Three, two, and one. All right, down into our high plank position. Up, up, down, down. Reach out to the side. Whew. Again, alternate what hand goes first. Keep it even. Everybody down. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up, up, down, down, out, out. Up, up, down, down, up, up. If you need to, you can do this on your knees. But make sure your hips stay flat. As flat as you can get them, just don't stick up like that. Keep it in. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. Roll over onto your back. Leg lifts with the toe tap again. Isolate the lower body. Only move the upper body when you're reaching for your toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. And up and down. And squeeze your quads. Get your legs as straight as they can possibly be. Want your legs to be shaking by the end of this. 
20 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Ooh. That'll get you. Roll up onto our feet. We got squat kickbacks. Again, if you need to grab onto something, absolutely no shame. It'll help you do it better, okay? Help you get that form. Flat back, stay bent over just like this. Three, two, one. Let's go. Squat and kick. Kick. By keeping the squat, keep it going, guys. By keeping the squat normal, I mean, when you're doing this, don't go sumo like this. Keep the toes more facing forward, a little bit wider than shoulder, but nothing, nothing like the squat reach position, the shuffle one we were doing before. Three, two, one. And done. Whew. Okay. Back down. Plank. Walk. Jump in. Deadly. Brutal. But we only have one round left, so we're going to do it. Make it through. Again, coordinate the distance. Make it the same. It'll help you a whole lot. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Out. Together. Together. In. Out. In. Out. Just like that. Keep the legs straight and the shoulders right over top of the hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, turn over. Two things left. Crab crunch. Hands down, not too far out. Hurt your wrist, hurt your shoulder. In by the butt, but heels farther out from the body than usual. Three, two, one. Let's go in and down. Seven, just like that. Three, two, one, down switch. Three, two, one. And done, okay. Into that plank position. Knees bend behind you, flat hips. You guys know what's up. Straight leg if you're feeling risky. No, if you're feeling strong, straighten that leg. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, we got 15. Five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, flip over. Same thing, side plank position. Flat hips, bend those legs behind you. Elbow into the body, three, two, one, let's go. Nine, ten, five more. Fourteen, fifteen. Ooh. Alrighty. You did it. You've completed Wednesday workout. Best one of the week. No, they're all good. It's all fun. Alrighty. Well, honestly, might want to stretch out those glutes a little bit. 
get right under here, get the hips. So if you want, do like a hip stretch, sit down either with a straight leg if you're more flexible, not like me, you'll see. Just cross legged, get that ankle into your body, match that ankle up with your knee. See, I'm not flexible. This is not the version for me. You wanna keep both your glutes on the ground. This is disgusting. Considering my profession, this is not good. So if you're like me, you can straighten that bottom leg and then focus on pushing this to the ground and bending over. Give this a try, bend over, keep both glute, both butt cheeks on the ground. You'll feel it in the bent leg, but reach over just like that. That'll be good. If you're flexible though, please do the other version and still reach over. That's great. That's just not for me, not flexible enough so I don't get the stretch. That's what I do instead. Other side, either straighten that leg, bring the other one up, or again, you're in this position. Oh, this side's even worse. Look at that. Got to stretch more often. Do this, press that knee down, reach forward for that ankle or foot. If your knee experiences pain when you're in these types of positions, flexing your foot will kind of help stabilize it. So that should help with any discomfort you're having. If it's really bad and you don't want to risk it, that's perfectly all right. Don't let me do this. No. Ooh, other ones out there. Just reach over like that. Fantastic. You're also going to want to stretch out those hamstrings. So still in a seated position, either you want to bend the knees, walk the feet out as far as they can go, grab the bottom of the feet and kind of just pull, keeping the feet flexed. Don't point them. That'll kind of lessen the stretch. Just go down like this. If you're really flexible, grab the bottom of the foot, pull it all the way up. Try to get that lower back nice and straight. And then you can reach over, kind of just dynamic stretches here. Get it straight, lock it out, sit up straight, and bend over. Whew. That should loosen that right up for you guys. Do that a couple more times if you think it's necessary, but other than that, the workout's over, you did it. The job. I will see everybody next week. Might be in a different location. Who knows? Everything's kind of up in the air right now. Might be going back to Hamilton. I don't know. I think my family's getting sick of me. I keep eating all their food. No, I'm kidding. Anyway. All right, guys. I'll see you next week. Have an amazing weekend. Have a great evening. Thanks for coming. Bye.